Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here today. I am going to work on um, work on a little idea that I had. Whether it's going to work or not, we don't know. But then that's what we do is we play until we figure it out, right? So um, going to do that. But let me say hi and hugs first to Cherie, Connie, Rose Lane Vintage Designs, and Raffaella. Thank you so much for watching my channel and your nice comments always. I so appreciate it. So this is the kit for June from Mixed Media Minnesota. See, I have, I, I mean, Shannon, I have, I have many things that say Mixed Media Minnesota, just so I don't forget. So um, not that I would. Her stuff is gorgeous. So this is the June scrapbooking kit kind of thing and um it is going to be in her shop on etsy mixed media minnesota link in the description box it'll be on there june 5th so that's coming right up so i thought i would i thought i would do a little playing with some of the fun stuff i might have to hop up if we decide to do a little a bit of um embossing or something so i don't know I don't know. I don't know which way this is going to go. <laughs> and like I say, I'm not sure it's going to work, but there's, I've shown you all already all the cool stuff in this kit. Couple of things of the chipboard, couple of beautiful flowers. There's these cool die cuts from Stamperia. Lace, pearls. There's a stencil and um, stamp a piece of rice paper, and then there's these beautiful Stamperia papers, the rice paper Stamperia as well. So I have to decide which paper I'm going to use. This could be, this could work, possibly. Or maybe I want a plainer one. Ooh, they're also pretty. It's hard to decide, isn't it? I'm kind of thinking, hmm, I'm going to set that one aside. I might use that. Can't use that because it'd be upside down. Okay. Okay. So I think I know what paper I'm going to use. So I had this weird idea and I don't know, like I say, if it's going to work. I don't even know if it's an original idea because I don't know if somebody else has maybe done it. So... We're going to see. I will get my paper cut first. I'm going to get the branding strip off of there. First things first, you know, get the paper prepared. Who knows if this is going to work. You know, it was one of those middle of the night inspirations and gosh, I don't know. Okay, and then I am going to cut this eight and a half right like this okay then I'm gonna get my scoreboard out and do some scoring here's the thing this is gonna be the cover right so here is the thing um, what I'm thinking about doing is do you, I don't know, I'm old, so you might not all remember, but they there used to be kids books where you open up the book and you read a story and it's halfway through the book and then you flip the book over and the other half of the story is kind of upside down the other way. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. So um, I this is 12 inches, right? So I'm going to do four scores at four inches, two scores. This one, I think I want to go this way. If I'm remembering my mountains and valleys properly. And then this one, I want to go here at four inches. Okay. So if this doesn't work, I have a plan to um, 
salvage the paper. <laughs> so we'll see. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to fold it this way. Oh, dang, my bird's going to be upside down. No, not if I go this way. It'll be okay. So that's going to become our cover, even though I didn't intend that. See, what I was thinking is having a journal this way. And then, oh, it's going to be okay. And then having a journal this way. It's a wackadoodle idea, I know. I think I'm going to call it my wacky flip journal. Yeah, that's going to work. It doesn't have to be upside down. It can just be the other way. Okay, so so that's, that's my thought. So this is going to be a cover, and this is going to be a cover. So I thought I'd decorate them both, but let me um, cut some of the paper so I can show you kind of what my idea is. So this is good. This journal is going to be eight and a half by four, right? Because we scored those at four. So I'm going to want my papers like three and three quarters. So I want them like at seven and a half instead of at eight and a half. Okay, okay, so I have a, well, I have these that I think will be good just folded, and I'm just going to make them eight and a half. I'm just going to cut off the bottom here. So that's, that's all good. And then these need to be eight and a half this way, which they are. And then they need to be seven and a half, which is right there. Right? And then they're, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, kind of making myself crazy with this, but it's, it's all good. It's going to come out in the wash. Okay, so I think I'm just going to do eight pages. I was going to do ten. But I think I'll just do eight coffee dyed pages and then those two little funky pages and then we can decorate. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to take four of these and cut them at seven and a half. Right there. Seven and a half. Which is going to leave some paper for some nice... Um, Um, nice paper pads or something. Okay. And then seven and a half again. Isn't it funny when I, I couldn't sleep last night. I've been having, I've been having a hard time with this heart thing. It just, it keeps me awake. It's a pain in the neck. Okay. I have a little friend, and no, let's see. You guys can't see that. He's off camera. <laughs> there he is, dead or in a doornail. Oh my gosh. Where did you come from, you little bugger? Oh, I don't like spiders. <laughs> he almost ran away on me. Okay, now, speaking of heart problems. <laughs> It's going bitter bat right now, I can tell you. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, eight more. Um, might as well just cut them all right while I've got my cutting board or my cutter out. Jeez, I'm all I'm all sorts of Anyway, yeah, I've been having trouble and but I go to the cardiologist this afternoon. So, I'm doing doing my video so I could get that in and then I'll go see him and see what he has to say. He's supposed to put me on a new medicine so I am hopeful. Cautiously optimistic that's what I am. <laughs> oh so anyway um 
I wasn't sleeping well and I had this idea and I was like, well, you never know till you try. And since it, my cover theoretically is going to, I'm going to have two covers. I'm going to decorate them both. So I have lots of stuff to play with. Okay. So I just want to fold these guys now so we can put them in. So I don't know, this might like, very likely could be part one of this video because, you know, it'll take a little bit to figure out the decorating of the, and then, you know, and then there's more stuff to do. Um, you guys, I should tell you too, I don't know if I did this journal here that I finished up. I'm going to randomly put that on my Etsy because I had some feedback that people liked just having it random and they felt like they had a better chance at getting a journal then if I say date and time and everybody's, you know, ready, set, go on it. So, um, I have so many journals in the works right now. I have five over there. I have three over there, two over here. <laughs> and so it might be good to just put them on randomly. Okay. So then in each... In each one, I want to have one of these. So let's put it right here and put this one right a couple pages back from that, like right about here, maybe. Okay, so that's this one. So that one's going to go in like that. And then we're going to fold this one. I don't know, guys. I think this is going to work, though. I'm excited. It's like it's been a long time since I had a, a, what I think is an original idea. I don't know if it is. But you guys can tell me if you think it is. Okay. Yeah, we're going to decorate this up some, but mostly it's going to be the covers. So it's going to be a going to be a writer's journal. That's that's what's in my brain. So to have it be a writer's journal. Now, I'm thinking about the flowers and I'm thinking that they might be too bumpy because when I'm writing on this side, or writing on this side, the cover is going to be under where I'm writing, right? So I can't have it be too super bumpy, or that would be tough to write on. Oh, I wanted to do, I wanted to do a piece of the cardstock in the middle too. I also wanted to do that. So let's, we'll find what we want for the middle of these. Okay, this is me being way too picky, but I kind of want to put them in the same place as I did the other side. I don't know why. Okay. Okay, so then we're going to have this on this side. And then you turn it over and you have this side. <laughs> Do you see what I'm doing? Isn't that kind of fun? I think that's kind of fun. All right. I'm tickled because it's Seems like it's gonna work out. Okay, let's see what beautiful papers we would like for the inside cover. Don't wanna use those really. That would have to be cut off. That 
Focus Journal cards. Ooh, that's that's very pretty. I think I think I'll use these two as the innards for this for this journal. These the this these journals. <laughs> I can't decide whether I need a singular or a plural. But I'm pretty excited. Okay, that's gonna work. Yahoo. Okay, so can we call that a new journal idea? You guys tell me if you've ever seen anybody make a cover like that or, you know, make a journal like that. I haven't seen it, but that doesn't mean it hasn't been done. Okay, so then we want to go eight and a half this way, tall wise. Okay, and then... Gosh, I think I'll, I think I'll cut off this side. What do I want? Seven and a half, right? Yeah. Okay, so that is going to then be the inside of one signature. Oops. So let's put that in this side like that. Okay, and then this one, I'll just get the branding strip off of. Okay, and then go eight and a half, right? Tall. And all sorts of yummy scraps from this and then we'll we'll go this way so we get the birdie in our seven and a half and that leaves kind of a nice sized chunk of that I love, love that okay maybe we're done cutting now okay so I'm gonna fold this this way Again, I could have scored that, but I was being lazy. Okay, so let's do this though. And that is gonna go in this side. Let's call this a wacky duel. I don't know if I need to say it's wacky, do I? It is kind of a wacky idea. That's what I thought of because I was going to put the other side upside down, but I like it this way. So let's call it a dual journal. What I like about this is like this side you could use to, you know, write your daily, your daily thoughts or your daily activities or, you know, daily memories. This side you could use as a gratitude journal and have it all in one. Okay, let me get my, get, should I get my sewing in things or should we do the, I think I might do the decorating before we um, sew in. Do I want to do that? No, nope, I think I'm going to sew in first because I'm thinking it gets bulky with the stuff. I don't know. We'll, we'll just do it this way. Um... Gotta get my signature sewing stuff. Let's see here. I'm finding it easier to use my binder clips out of my bin over there than than getting them out of the bag because I always have to re you know re flip them down and then I have to re flip them up. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> oh. Okay, this is way fun, you guys. I'm excited that it's working. It is, though. I think it's going to work. I am going to have to be careful and make sure I get the signature the right, right side up when I do it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so my, I'm thinking of the kind of thread I would like to use. Um, maybe, maybe just a, I think that's just fine. Let's use this. Okay. And so three times the page length for those of you who are new to sewing in signatures. And this is a waxed linen thread. And um, you can find it on Etsy or Amazon. Just search wax linen thread and you will find it. Oh, I guess I better put some holes in my in my spine, huh? Okay, so I just eyeball it. I mean, some people might measure, but I don't. Just, just kind of eyeball it. And then I go an inch or so from the top. Okay. Let's do this thing. And I'll have the ties on the inside. So... Here we go. So let's sew. <laughs> so I had a subby say mixed media is, I think what she said is the definition of it is any time you use two or more sort of elements in the creation of a of a piece of art. So I would say generally our um, our journal making is mixed media. And certainly this mixed media kit from Mixed Media Minnesota has several elements. Okay, I'm just gonna tie that. Um, I can always untie it if I decide I want charms, but there's that side. Let's do the other side. I can't believe this worked. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, goodness. I cut my fingernails today, and now I can't, can't do a thing. Okay, so this is right side up. As is this. So we're good. Okay, so now we're going to clip this this side. Be a little tricky with that other side to work around, but not too bad, I don't think. So my grandkids are coming this weekend. Um, and my son's going to help my husband finish the shower um, that he's been working on. Let's, um, I need to straighten that a little bit, I think. It's not quite. Okay, excuse me. Didn't quite get that straight. Okay, there we go. Um, and so... And my daughter-in-law has to stay back because their doggy has developed a little tendon problem in his leg. And if he was here with Jimmy Joe, you know they'd be running and wrestling and all that stuff. So I think my daughter-in-law might stay home with the, with the dog, which is a bummer because I was really looking forward to hanging out with her while... The boys did their thing, but I'll have my grandkids. And so I'm kind of, I'm eyeballing to make sure these are kind of close in proximity as far as in the middle, you know? So that's what I was eyeballing. So anyway, yeah. And so I think we might go get some flowers. That's an activity. And then definitely spend some time 
in the craft room. So we'll see if they get me some more drop papers going. <laughs> <laughs> have more people that would like a drop paper journal so if my grandkids get to painting something that could that could beef up my supply a little bit of those yeah so fun okay so there we go with we don't need this anymore so throw that in there okay let's sew this one in and then hold that string go through the middle go through the top and get my string on the other side okay done with that and tie this off and then we'll do then we'll do the cover before we start playing with the, anything on the inside at all then my plan is for a closure just to tie a piece of sari silk around or something because I think that would work just fine Oh my gosh, guys, I am excited. So there it is, my little dual journal. Oh, just so tickled. All righty, so let's, um, just gonna get rid of my binding stuff. I'll just throw it on my other table here out of our way and then let's play with some of that fun stuff here oh forgot that always do seems like every time okay all right so let's see oh yes we still have a half hour I still think I'm going to do a couple of a couple of videos of this. Okay, so I wanted to look in here and see what all's in here. Oh, I just love Stamperia stuff. It's so pretty. Okay, I'm just going to cut this off. Okay, so yeah. It, does, it doesn't have like a name special for scrapbooking. House Roses. House Roses. That's the name of it. Okay. So let's just, let's, just, oh, look at the door. Oh, there's a key. There's like a clock. Oh my. There's like a clock hand right there. Okay. So look at this door. How cool is that? Yeah, I want to use that. Definitely want to use that. And there's windows. Okay, that looks dumb, but <laughs> House of Roses. Oh my gosh. Fences, several windows, a smaller door. Look at this cute little thing. Bike, it's a little table. So yeah, the this ephemera is chipboard like. Look at this tag. Oh my gosh, isn't that pretty? Look at that. Okay, I digress. Oh look at there's a kitty cat. That'd be cute sitting by the door. Little kitty cat. Um, and I like this because it keeps it flat. You know, it keeps it pretty flat. I wonder if, with some lace behind that maybe. 
I think I definitely want that kitty on there. That's really cute. And I like how there's brick right here. Okay. Just making sure I've looked at all the options here, kind of. And there's some butterflies and birds and stuff. Flowers. Here's even a ladybug. <laughs> And see, look at the little, little hands for this big old clock. Wow, that's cool. Okay. Well, I think I might do that on this page. I need to find some sort of lace for behind there. What do I have? I mean... It's pretty. It doesn't show up very well, though. Hmm. Yeah, I might do that. It's nearly the right size, even, to go clear across. I'm thinking about, do I want lace there but I can always go over the top of that but then I have to center this properly so okay so let's think about look at the lace that they provide here in the kit this is pretty oh my goodness I seriously can't do anything without my little bit of fingernails. I never have long fingernails, but. <laughs> yeah, I think I might, I think I might put that on the spine. Yep. Okay. Well, first off, I need to straighten this just slightly. Okay, and then. I'm just going to put this over both spines, I think, is what I'm going to do. Okay, so right there. And we'll just cut another one. Here. Yeah. We'll get that on there because it then... You need to look at that when you're looking at um, gosh, I have such a hard time with what side is which. I think this is these two are the upsides. Um, anyway, as uh, like that door, I want it kind of centered on the page and you have to take into consideration the lace. So I think that's the first thing we should do. Okay, I need to move this stuff because I'm feeling a little, a little crazy. Oh, you know what I wanted to do first, though, is this was in the kit, too. This, um, this Versamark chalk ink, and this color is called Aspen Mint. And I think I'm going to go around... Um, let's see here. Oh, okay. I think I'm going to go around the cover with this. Ooh, that's lovely. That's a lovely color. Okay, I don't need to do the spine, right? Ooh, that's nice. Yeah. Okay. And then this one. Oh, that goes so nicely. Good job, Shannon, pairing that with that. And then this one's kind of already. Um, so then up here, kind of need to do a little. And down here. And let me see. So 
So that, that, that. Okay, this side. <laughs> Get myself all turned around here. Yeah. And I'm kind of glad I did this before the... Oh, that is lovely. Yeah, very nice. Might want to put some on here too. Going crazy with the Aspen Mint, but it's very pretty. That doesn't show up very good, but mostly here. And then this side should show too. Oh. I've never used this ink before, so that's fun too. See this side, maybe not there, but definitely here. Ooh, yes, that's very nice. That really, it's very nice. Oh, there we go. Okay, does I need any? Maybe a little at the bottom. I've had people say to me, do, do you ever use a different color than vintage photo? So I would say not often, but we're gonna do it here. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to grab our fabric pack and put this lace on. So, talking right about there. I'm just going to put a bead up this way and over there. And up the middle. Okay. And that kind of close to the middle of the lace. Might have to trim it slightly. That's okay. Okay, now. You know, I almost didn't do this project today because I was kind of feeling puny with the AFib business. And I'm so glad I did because I'm all excited about it. Okay, so there is that one. And then we'll flip it over. <laughs> And put this guy on there. Right about there. Come on. Sink down there to the bottom so I can get you on here. Let's see if we can just. Okay, put this one down. Okay, did that. Now we can think about what we're doing on the covers. That's nice. Okay. <laughs> I'm just so tickled with this. Can you tell? Oh my gosh. Okay. So see how that puts our, puts our little door in a different spot. Okay. And then 
probably cut that down a little bit. Yeah, I think I'll cut off this one rose. Use that for something else. Throw that in the basket. Okay, so then got that, 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 and then I might put some of these little flowers on it or something. Okay, let's see. Let's go with the go with right there with the lace. Okay. Might as well get that on. Isn't it so fun when something you do just tickles you? I'm tickled. <laughs> I'm so tickled. This is awesome. I love it. It's fun when something gives it kind of a new spark, too. I'm thinking maybe... Um, about making one of these out of, you know, I, I have a lot more Jane me Jane's memoir paper, so I was thinking about that too. Okay, I'm going to see how this does on here. Can't really see it. Maybe it's coloring it a little bit. Okay, so back to vintage photo. On that, we'll just do, just kind of want to frame it out a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and this is kind of shiny, so I'm going to let this um, dry for a minute. Okay. Then I want to do the kitty. Got a little piece of his cardboard still on there. I wonder if I can get that. Um, these itty bitty scissors, maybe. Oh, yeah. Got it. Got it, got it. Wouldn't have noticed that had I not decided he needed a little distressing. And let's do this. Okay, so I guess we can put this one on first thing. I don't think there's, I was just making sure they weren't stickers, but I don't think so. Just die cuts. I think I've lost track of time. I should probably check. Oh, good. 15 more minutes. Okay. Stay on there, okay? <laughs> okay, and then this one. Just got to hold that for a second. Can just get rid of these couple little things. Okay. Gosh, I have some great scraps left too. I'm excited about that. Mm. 
my gluey fingers. You can stay on there. My husband's been working on scheduling and um, they had some sort of scheduling for his school that he retired from. <laughs> and um, they had some sort of defugal tea with the, the program or something. So anyways, he's been on the phone all morning trying to help them figure out what happened or what they did or whatever. So he's retired, but <laughs> kind of a contract worker is what he is. Still, he still helps him out. Okay, that's way fun. Okay, so then if I was going to do some flowers, what would I do? That's too big. There's a lot of smaller flowers, so. Ooh, I kind of like that. Yep, that's it. I might try and just, yeah, go around this a little bit. Okay. Okay, so I'm really liking this cover. And the next cover, I don't know. I'm thinking about maybe we wait until next video and then I could maybe do a little bit of embossing for the other one. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's fun. I love that. <laughs> oh my gosh I think that turned out so fun look isn't that fun and I like the lace on the spines this is good I guess I gotta hold that down more um but let's see over here we do have a bird so let's next time let's um let's open those and see what they're like I think I can lay this down this way and that will automatically hold it a bit. Are these all the same or different? Looks like they might be different. Oh yeah, there's several different styles in here. So there's four all together. Hmm. I think I like this one. And I think I could put it right there. It's almost like it's coming off of that wood piece. Yeah. And then, I don't know what else. Maybe that. Yep, that's what we'll do on that page. That'll be fun. And so I might make the bird black. And I might go like copper or something with this. And then I think the, the um, covers are going to be flat enough that it's not going to be a problem to, um, it's not going to be a problem to write in this at all. Okay, cool. Okay, well, we'll set those aside and I'll, I'll tidy up and I'll get my embossing stuff and then we'll, we'll do the other the other cover, shall we call it. Gosh, I kind of wanted to use one of these somewhere too, but I don't know where I would. Yeah, be too much, I think. I think I like, I like that. Okay, guys. Well, thank you so much for playing with my June kit from Mixed Media Minnesota. Remember, again, June 5th is when she's listing them in her shop. So be watching if you're, if you're interested in some of these yummy goodies. So thanks so much for watching, everyone. Thank you for letting me share my new idea. I'm so excited about it. So anyway, thanks, everybody. We'll see you in the next video. Have a grateful day. Bye.